Hello, YouTube family and friends. How y'all doing today? As y'all can see in this title, we is doing answer. Well, we're answering 21 questions. Um, I actually got the questions. Well, we're going to eat too because I'm hungry. We're going to eat and answer some questions. I do got some questions here. Y'all see my little booklet. Yeah, I wrote it in purple how my nails is. Look at my nails in my own booklet. Yeah, we cute. <laughs> but anyway. We finna um, answer these questions. I think I got like 20 questions. Y'all, we just going to answer the questions. I really don't know how many questions I got because I had to write them down. And I just got some more questions as well. But yeah, y'all, we have, um, we also eating the seafood for, um, I got some shrimp, I got some crab legs, I got some potatoes, some corn, some eggs, and yeah, I got my, um, my pills. So yeah, y'all, I'm drinking it out of my, um, I actually like these um, master cups. If you from Augusta, you know about these cups. I like these little cups. But yeah, y'all. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Um, yeah, y'all. I had a couple of questions here. I'm gonna go ahead and start eating because I'm hungry. Um, y'all comment and tell me how y'all day going today. On this beautiful weekend. Happy Halloween as well. Since Halloween is tomorrow. And y'all tell me what you're trying to do tomorrow. Because I'm really not doing nothing. I have to go to work. So yeah. I ain't doing nothing. Um, but yeah. I got, um, just so I can tell y'all what I got. Um, so that y'all can know and how much I spent on it. I got a low country bowl. Sausage comes separate. I don't know why they do that, but I ain't want no sausage anyways. I got a low country bowl. Add three corns, just juicy special and medium. And my total came up to $38.06. So yeah, y'all, if y'all watched my last video, I am going to post a link right there so that y'all can go watch my next video um, or my last video about my um my seafood. Y'all, if y'all know, I like corn. So, yeah. And I got me a couple of corns. I don't think y'all can see my food, but y'all can see the inside of it. Y'all see how beautiful that is. All oh, that juice in me. So yeah, y'all. I think I want to go get me some lemon juice because it's not lemony enough. But yeah, y'all. My first question is. Let's see what question I want to ask first. Um, I guess I'm gonna go down the list. Who are some people in business, businesses, you'll like to shout out and why? Um. I do got a couple of people I like to shout out. Shout out to my best friend. Both of them. Well, my ace. And then my best friend. Shout out to my ace for the questions. Shout out to Ebony for her question. Shout out to my auntie for her question. And my best friend for helping me write my questions down. Telling me the answers. Well, telling me the questions. So that I can write them down. Because y'all don't have another device. My iPad is kind of, kind of in construction. So, shout out to all them for helping me out. Give me questions because nobody didn't comment back to me or didn't say anything back or didn't write on my post when I asked some questions. Y'all want to ask me some questions so I can answer them on YouTube. So shout out to all of them. Shout out to Jada, which is my ace. Um, for her business, it is Jada Customs, I believe. I think I'm saying it wrong, but I will drop it down. Jada Zane Customs. Customize Customs. Y'all, I'm gonna post it. That's bad. I don't know it together. I, I ain't together with it. I apologize. But shout out to her and everything that she's doing. Um, she do make logos, she do make shirts, 
she do take pictures y'all she do a lot so y'all go on her page her name is jada underscore zane j-a-d-a underscore z-h-a-n-e y'all go check her out she do have a lot of stuff going on she's very lovely at her photos i want her to do my birthday photos but i all got myself together so yeah shout out to her shout out to my cousin um trust the alliance y'all go check him out it is tta underscore tta on instagram i'll post this information below so y'all can go check him out um, yeah y'all on to the next question i'm um eat me a little shrimp because i ain't eat nothing i ain't ate all day y'all i've been in bed sleep honestly i really wasn't feeling too good today but i'm gonna post this video for y'all and i've been craving some seafood so yeah had to get me some seafood So on point. Y'all the little egg glow. A little damage, a little damage. Um my next question is what is your favorite set song? Um I don't know his name. Oh, I do um y'all got a whole six playlist i'm gonna drop my playlist at the bottom if i can i'm gonna share my apple music playlists with y'all so that y'all can check out my little playlists i have but i do got a freak nasty playlist on it that i do have some songs on there that i play when i'm having sex but y'all don't have sex too often that's my personal business anyways but yo um but the song is called imagine or is it called it? I think it is. Imagine by Y'all, the song Eric is called Imagination Belger. by Eric name, right? Belger. But yeah. That's one of my favorite songs. Another favorite set song I like is Private Room. By Bootsy, Rich Homie Crime, and I'm gonna count somebody out. But yeah, y'all go listen to that. No two songs. I'm gonna drop both songs at below. The song so that I can tell y'all the name of the song because I don't think I said both names right. But it is Private Room by Bootsy and Rich Homie Crime and somebody else. That's one of my favorite songs. One of my favorite set songs. And then imagine by eric belger um my next question is summer walker or team y'all now that's a hard question and because y'all fuck with team too hard i'm just go ahead and give y'all my answer and why i choose team I fuck with Tink hard as fuck. They, like, she come, like, every song. She don't, like, she don't miss nothing. Like, it don't matter what type of song it is. She hit every point. With every song. She hit it. It don't matter. And then her last album, I ain't even listened to every song. But I didn't hear every song. And every song sound good. Like, she never, it's never a hit or miss with her. Like, it's always on point. Always. Now, with Summer Walker, she ain't even, I ain't even, like, it's really a hard, it's really hard to choose, but I'm just gonna go with Tink because that's my go-to. Like, I'm gonna get in the car and listen to Tink. But Summer Walker, I'm gonna listen to her because that's my girl. She did, did it with that, um, Over It album, and she coming out with a new one. I like her new song, The Reason You My Ex. Y'all, she did that. Her and JT, I ain't even gonna cap on them. Y'all, they did that. They really did. I like that song. Um, but yeah, um, we're gonna go to the next question. I'm trying to eat a little something. Mm. Just, <clears throat> just right the feather. 
Never fails. Um, yeah, I gotta eat. I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to be quick with the video. I ain't gonna mess with no. But. Yeah. Mm. The next question is. What type of friend are you? Personally. I feel like I'm a bad friend. Honestly. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. If I was my friend. I wouldn't want to be my friend. Yeah, okay. So, let's back up. I done came a long way from what how I was before. Because, y'all, this attitude used to be nasty. I used to go places and just, ugh. Horrible. But, I have gotten better with myself. Kind of just let things go. Whatever, whatever. But, I'm honestly a good friend. Because, I have a big heart. So, I'm actually a good friend. But, I am a horrible friend. My say. I'm a horrible friend. My other friends may not feel that way, but I'm a horrible friend. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna cross out these questions because I already did these. But I feel like I'm a horrible friend. Everybody may not feel that way, but I'm a big hearted person. I'm gonna always do everything that I can for my friends, like always, forever. And then even if they call and be like, "Say that I'm stranded," and I only got five dollars in my damn pocket. I may send them my five dollars because, like, you may do the same thing for me. You may not do the same thing for me, but I can understand when I was in those situations and nobody ain't come through and helped me, or nobody came through and was like, "Oh, I got you, Sadie." Woo 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 woo. woo. So I always try to look through, come through when I can come through, but I always stay down. Best bleed it. Y'all, I'm gonna go back to one of my questions because I did not shot everybody out that I wanted to shot back out. And the question was, who are some people and some businesses you'd like to shout out? I did forget about my other friend. Her name is Jaquela. She did my retwist. Shout out to her because that bitch is trying is doing great things out here. Great things with a baby. Great things. I so give everybody salute everybody. Who got a baby out there. I want to get everybody who got a baby out there. Congratulations on y'all babies. I want to give y'all props for holding it down. Whatever problems you go through. Just if anybody ain't told you that they proud of you. I want to tell you that I'm proud of you. And I'm shouting y'all out. Period. But yeah. Shout out to her for doing my hair. It ain't done right now. But she did do my hair. Shout out to her. Because she do do hell. I want to give her a shout out. I'm going to drop her name down in the bottom as well. And y'all go look at her page. And check her out as well. But on with my next question. So yeah. I had another question about friends. So we're going to go ahead and jump to that question. How many friends you got? Um, I have a couple of friends y'all. I ain't going to say I don't have friends. I had a couple of friends. I ain't going to name all of them. But I got a great few bit of friends. I may not talk to them every day. We all got a life. Everybody got their own life. But I do got some friends out there. Um, we did the team question. What is your top three favorite movies? Mm, I like Grease. Grease is one of my favorite movies. Enough is one of my favorite movies. In Hairspray. I can say I can watch those movies all the time. Watch them back to back. It never fails. I don't like Grease too, y'all. I only like Grease. The regular Grease. I don't even think I watched Grease too. Because I don't think it was as good as the Grease 3. But yeah. The worst present you have ever received in wow uh, y'all y'all ready for my answer for this question my worst present is not receiving the present why is that the worst present 
Because I'm 23 years old and out of every motherfucker I done talked to, I'm sorry to cuz. Out of everybody I done talked to, I ain't never seen you. Never. That's the worst gift that you can get. On um, to the next question. But not though. I done had great gifts from like my parents or my mom or my grandma and them. Um, my best present out of everything. Y'all was young. I don't know nothing recent and the good gifts that I don't recently got. Honestly, I think the best gift is money. Shit. Maybe some household shit. That Christmas I did get an air fryer. And I was so excited about my air fryer. So excited. So happy. Y'all. Y'all just don't understand. I was so happy about the air fryer. And I had that as you said now. That's crazy, right? Uh, how do you save money? Y'all, I ain't good at saving. I recently just started saving. And how I save money is putting that shit in my savings account. And then in a few days, I'm going to have to transfer that motherfucker out of the savings. So I really don't save. I got bills to pay. Well, y'all, like I said, I just started um saving. But, um, the way I'm trying to do it now, every time I get paid, I try to put at least 100 or at least 50 inside my own savings account. I ain't going to tap you out. I ain't good at saving though. So I don't have no saving tips for y'all. But y'all can give me some saving tips because your girl really need them. Because I ain't good at saving at all. So you know some good, helpful saving tips? Tell me. Like, should I do like them YouTube or them um, TikToks and put money in the bag or put $5 in the bag every time I get some money? Or like, do $5 one, do $5 when I get paid one time, do $10 when I get paid next time, do $20 next time I get paid. On and on, because I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. So y'all, just give me some helpful saving tips. Um, The next question is, what is the best thing to do? Do you want kids? And my kid is over there asleep. So I do got kids. He ain't a real kid. I'm a dog ball. Oh, he look like he's sleeping so peacefully. Anyways, do you want kids one day and how many? So y'all, I'm trying to check this open. Um, I really don't want kids. I can pat my back. Ain't nobody here to pat my back. If I had a kid, I probably had my kid probably could have pat my back home. <coughs> but yeah. Y'all, I don't think I'll Okay. A hoodie would be nice. But have y'all ever thought of how much a kid costs? How much, if anything happened to your kid, you have to take off of work. Don't matter how many times it happened to your kid, you can lose your job because your kid comes first. And not to say that a kid is not that important to a job, but for you to survive in this life, you have to have a job. 
You have to take care of your child. You have to provide for your child, put a roof over your child head. You got to clothe your child. You got to feed your child. That's a lot. <laughs> Honey, I do it myself. And I'm just getting there. I ain't ready for a kid. So, I mean, maybe one day. Maybe. I mean, I just see a lot of parents out here nowadays. And seeing my mom going through and raising us. I mean, it's a lot. It is a lot. And a lot of money they going to get spent. Because you're not going to tell your child no. And I know I'm not going to tell my child no. My dog is spoiled. And I only had him for like two weeks. My, my dog come sit on my lap while I sit at work. Because I'm not going to tell him no. And he's going to sit there and whine until I pick him up. So, yeah. No. I don't think I'm ready for kids. Maybe one day I can do it. But as of right now, no. I wouldn't want any kids. Um, Maybe when I'm financially stable. And I didn't buy my mama a house. And my mama is perfectly fine here. And I ain't worried about my mama here. I have some kids. Till then, uh, me and Peanut be real good. Because he a handful of his stuff, y'all. That motherfucker feisty. He real feisty. But, yeah. Next question. If I had to choose only one, would I rather have my nails or lashes? These claws. Y'all, it was just the way that I held my hand in this video. These claws. Like... These flowers, period. Y'all see my head ain't done. I keep these flowers done though. My cousin told me the other day, uh, yesterday, you keep your nails done, and her daughter gonna say, but your hair ain't done. So, I ain't. Bro, I got dreads. I don't expect my dreads to be look like something every day. Like, they dreads, they grow. I'm gonna have a little nappy roots. It is time for them to get done, but I am getting my hair done for Thanksgiving, so I'm trying to hold out. Because Thanksgiving is right around the corner. But yeah, y'all. Nails. I'll take the claws any day. So if y'all see when my nails not done, just know something wrong. Something wrong. All I'm trying to say. Y'all, I know a lot of people probably out here asking. So, this is one of the questions that I'm thinking off the top of my head. I'm going to go ahead and answer it. Um, am I proud of myself? Just because I know everybody probably like, I wonder if she's proud of herself for what she has done or whatever the case is. Or if you, even if y'all know me or not. But, y'all, I am proud of what, how, where I came from. And how I used to be. I have I don't feel like I have accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. And I'm still young. So yes, I still feel like I have time and can't nobody rush me to do what I can't or I ain't ready to do. And I just had to start to learn that. I have done so much stuff just to please other people and i'm not really gaining nothing for it or i'm not really happy with what i'm doing with what i'm doing so <clears throat> therefore yes i'm proud of myself in some type of way but i feel like i can do better i can know i have i can do more than what i'm doing and I know that eventually I'm going to come to a point that this is exactly what I want to do and why I want to do it. And I can give you an answer on what I want to do and why I do it. I actually, <clears throat> if don't nobody know now, I work from home and I'm a senior advisor. So I take senior calls. Um, you'll call in and be like, hey, I want to speak to your manager. I'm your manager. Yeah. Um, 
Hmm. Y'all don't want to hear my wife voice, but yeah. Back on to the sheep. Um, do you prefer to be called Sadie or Sade? So, a lot of people don't pronounce my name right. A lot of my family call me Sade. My mama calls me Sade when she's upset. Or when she wants some, I done did some shit. <clears throat> like most parents. But my name is pronounced Sade. I have an apostrophe <clears throat> behind my E and my E turns to an A, so Sade. Um, Sade is for them white folks, y'all. My name need to be Sade when the white folks see my name. And most of the time they gonna say Sadie. But yeah, um, I really don't really have a preference of what I want to be called or what you call me. I'm going to answer to you. Even if you say Sadie or Sade, Sade, whatever case it is, I'm going to answer you in regards to the fact. It had a big deal about the name, but I don't, I ain't one of them perfect persons that's just like oh i want you to call me this mm -mm. no you just coming up with a name for me yeah baby no but when i do meet new people mm, y'all think all it was good when i do meet new people I do tell them my name is Sade. Um, next question, y'all. Um, but I'm answering these questions in one. What are some places you want to visit, and what is your dream birthday? Or yeah, we can answer these questions in one. My dream birthday and the place that I want to visit the most. <clears throat> Y'all want to go to Jamaica. And I want to go to Paris. It don't say why. Because I want to. My mama went to Jamaica. And it seemed very pretty. I mean. She had a nice outing. She cried when she came back. She was like she did not want to come back. And girl, majority of the time I do all the time. I don't want to come back home. Even. If I ain't have to pay to stay there, shall I find have to pay right now? <sighs> we ain't gonna even talk about that, y'all. <sighs> it's this black stuff in him. I did ate all these shrimps and they ain't had no black stuff, but this shrimp gotta have the black shit, huh? But yeah, y'all. Anywho. Oh, hold on. Let's take this off. Um, next question. Well, I'm sitting on this question. Um, I want to visit Jamaica because Jamaica seems so beautiful. Which will probably beautiful too. I know, baby. I know Paris is beautiful as fuck. Like, Jake, y'all, <clears throat> inside the United States, places I want to go, California. But out of the country, I want to go to the Caribbean. I want to go to Paris. I want to go to um Jamaica. I want to just go to the islands, period. Like, I bet the food is just so good. Y'all, I'm really into cooking. I like to cook. So, I know. And I love to taste the food. Y'all don't think I got big. Just y'all, I have always been big my life. I'm big, just be big. I feel like at this point. But anywho, y'all always say this one for the last, but I think I really want it. No, I really want to do this. Um, but anywho, yeah. 
I bet all them places are nice. Mm. Okay, so I want to drip on my paper. Because my paper already messed up. Honestly. But, um, that's one of them places I would like to visit. Um, oh boy, oh boy, y'all. This girl, she was my age. She didn't went all over Europe. Boy, boy, she said that shit was pretty as fuck. She got a tattoo for every place that she went to. I know. She had fun. I would have had fun. Y'all, and I would have went sober. Like, I probably would have got drunk late at night. Just so that I can enjoy my day. Like, mm, probably would have been so beautiful. Um, oh, but I can't say this. For my dream birthday, just to add on to this, my... My significant other probably take me out of town. One of these places. Booty rub, back rubs, walking in the candles in the tub filled up, a nice little bed, a little flowers. Just the whole nine yards, just to be spoiled. Like, to have the whole day just be about me, nothing ruined. Not mad, no attitudes, everything just perfect. Like, that's all I ask so. Perfect birthday. Or just like everybody to come together, to come on a trip. Like, black people will never get their shit together to go on a trip. Like, maybe it's just my black people. Or maybe every time I plan a trip, it's just not the perfect timing for everybody. Who knows? But yeah. I have heard that a lot of people, for a lot of people going on trips, you have to go by yourself or you got to pay for the whole trip for everybody to go. And at this point in time in my life, this year for my birthday or next year for my birthday, if I'm going by myself, I'm going by myself. My next question is, what is your favorite and least favorite zodiac sign? Gemini, Aries, that was a quick one. Real simple question. Y'all. Yeah. My motherfucking sister. Get on my nerves. I had two Gemini friends. And then my both my sisters are Gemini. I do have two sisters. Um both of them are biological. One we don't have okay. I'm stupid. Anyway. So all three of us got the same daddy. One of us got the Two of us got the same mama, one of us, only one of us don't got the same mama. So, yeah, however you want to take that. But, yeah, 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 that's my dog, though. Anyways, um, Gemini's are just so funny acting. I can't deal with them. Like, mm. they are the worst people like they can be so loving and so caring and then um, shit don't go that way shit over it like don't fuck do not get on the Gemini bad side like bitch you may gotta sleep with your eyes open if you got a roommate that's a Gemini like you cannot fuck with no Gemini like them bitches don't be wanting to be bothered when you bother them, they just mean and nasty for no reason. Okay, that shit hurt my damn lungs. I don't even see how y'all be smoking them little roaches and be like, come on now, just hold another one. Because it ain't that deep. If you ain't got no weed to roll, another one, it wasn't meant for you to smoke. Period. That was a good little piece, even though it's little, y'all. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, Aries, my favorite is because you can never 
An Aries is never going to fail you. They're never going to fail you. Like, yeah, they some assholes. But they are so loving and they'll do anything for you. They truly and really do love you. So, yeah, shout out to all my Aries. My favorite person in the whole wide world is the, um, is the Aries. My getaway is the Aries. Like, and the only reason we call each other our getaway is because literally, like, we go to each other to get away. Like, we we do stupid ass shit. Like, not even stupid stupid stuff, but like we'll go sit in the park and just sit in the park, or we'll go sit by the lake and smoke, or we'll go rock school type stuff. Like we always like it's never a dull moment. Like we try to with our energies bouncing off each other. Like it's always a great experience or a great vibe where. I ain't worried about nothing else that's going on. Everything that's going on at this moment in time is perfectly fine. Like, I don't even give a, uh, I don't even have a care in the world. Like, I can be mad as fuck at her. And then a few minutes later, I'm just like, oh, friend. Like, I, I have to have her in my life, period. But anyways, um, I think I got three more questions, y'all. Um, how do you feel about the vaccine or being vaccinated. Um, <clears throat> I really was going to ask this question. Cause like, that's a whole nother conversation to have. Like, I'm not getting vaccinated. I haven't got vaccinated. I don't leave out of the house enough to go get vaccinated. I haven't even looked up on vaccination because it's just so much stuff going on. And nobody can give me a positive answer about it. My stepmom even working in the nursing field and they forcing her to get a vaccine. And she has worked in she has worked with the COVID nineteen since the COVID nineteen came out. Like and I just don't understand it. Like, so many people didn't tell me so many things. Like, somebody told me that I should get it because I got asthma. And my asthma most likely go away. How can your ass... Like, that, it's just a whole nother conversation for a whole nother video. So, on that note, I really don't care too much for the vaccine. If you get it, congratulations. Don't be mad at me because I don't want it. I even talk on the phone people and they be upset. Like, did you get vaccinated? Do y'all work from home? People are even... They're even giving you a higher pay if you get vaccinated. They're paying you to get vaccinated. Okay. We're going to leave it up. He hopped up real quick. I'm still here, son. My dog got separation issues, y'all. Real bad separation issue. Real bad separation issue. Okay. My next question is, what made you start YouTube? How's your journey going? And is it what you expected? Nothing is what I... Everything I do is, is not what I ever expected it to be. But, you know, you got to start somewhere to get somewhere. I'm proud of myself because I have, my views have went up. Not on every video. I do have, like, my views are at, like, 350 now. So, I'm proud of myself for that. Um, I don't have too many subscribers. So, if you are watching this video right now, go ahead and stop, pause the video subscribe right now if you're not subscribing like the video as well and turn on that bell so that you can get a reminder every time i post a video y'all my chin is so shiny i know i'm eating and seafood get messy but my shirt ain't messy as oh spoke too soon shirt messy 
see it. But yeah. So nothing is what I expected it to be. Everything starts slow. You get your views up. Everybody have told me. I have watched so many YouTube videos. They told me that your fan, your friends, your family is not gonna be your supporters, and they're not. So nobody, I'm, nobody really support me, but maybe like five people out of my family and friends. Literally, I don't have many people that support me in my YouTube channel. So. I don't get sh shares. I don't get likes like that. I'm not very social media famous and all that. So I'm starting off small. And with the fan base that I do have, I'm very supportive. But I wish my fan base was a little bit bigger. Um, I started off my YouTube because I have always wanted to do YouTube. I just never started. Um, the reason that I start my YouTube is... This was going to be my last question. I'm going to answer that why I started my YouTube. And that's going to be my last question. And I'm going to end it. And then maybe my next video. Why well, I ain't going to say maybe. My next video is going to be why I started my next YouTube. And it's going to lead into that video. Um, But how's my journey going? And that goes into... <clears throat> I haven't started the journey. But the journey do goes into why I started the YouTube. Um... I have a lot of stuff up my sleeve for that, but I'm going to answer that next. But my last question is, if I could change one thing about myself, what would it be and why? Wow. We're going to take a bite on that one. Stuff. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me. I, I just don't mm -hmm. know what's wrong with me. Yeah. I just had to make them both over on this little part. It's the juicy juice. I died laughing like, oh my god. I'm juicy just busting out the back. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna ask the question again because I was just doing the most. If I could change one thing about myself, what would it be? Mm. I actually, in all actuality, my body. That's the only thing. And I don't wish I, I don't want to be skinny. And why I want to do it is none of y'all business. No, I'm lying though. I don't want the one thing I'll change is the big ass head and my stomach. I'll take the stomach away. Give me a little push. <clears throat> like how y'all um I don't even want no little push like y'all skinny folks. Give me a little stomach. I keep my just just take my little poof away. That was really what I want. Um the poof. That's um if I could change it, that's something I'll change, honestly, y'all. My poof. So, that goes into why I made YouTube. I have always watched YouTube videos of weight loss. Of people losing weight. And I have not truly seen nobody lose weight without surgery. So, I'm here to show... Every big girl, I don't even know how much I weigh. I should go to Walmart when I'm done with this video. But I don't even know how much I weigh. But I think I weigh like 280 something. Probably not even 280, probably a little more. Who knows? But the reason I made my YouTube is to show everyone that, yes, I'm a plus size girl. Yes, I want to be smaller. Yes, I don't want to be skinny. I don't imagine myself to be skinny. I don't want to be 
a person that I'm not even insecure about myself. I love myself to death. I love my poof, the rose in my back, the little fat I got up under my arms, my neck rose, the little neck that I do have. I love everything about myself and I wouldn't change it at all. I have minor things that I want to change, but it's nothing major that I feel like I can't go out there and do it myself if I don't if I don't put my mind to it. And <clears throat> So I want to show everyone out here that is a big girl that you can always change how you look or you can modify how you look without paying for it. You don't have to. You see these skinny girls out here, stomach suck, booty big, titties all perked up and everything. You're not going to have a perfect body. Nobody is perfect. So don't picture yourself to be perfect. I don't want myself to be perfect. Yes, I could drop a few pounds and feel better about myself and how I get up every morning and my energy that I have and going places and not sweating all as bad as I do. Yes, like I have minor insecurities that's not about my weight, about things that like I have insecurities about me sweating. That's one of my biggest insecurities. I sweat really bad. And I don't like people seeing me seeing me sweat. So I feel like me working out and dropping a few pounds would assist with me in my sweating problems or my energy that I have or just me feeling better, waking up feeling better every day. It's not about how I look or how I dress or whatever the case is or why everybody else do it. I just want that to be said because that is what my YouTube channel is about. Like, I have so much stuff in plan. Um, like, a plus size haul. Like, I see so many big girls dressing so pretty. And I just be like, oh, yes, girl. And then we do got some big girls that's just like, each roll is out and it doesn't look good for us big girls. But I still give you props because your confidence is way out there. I ain't doing it, but I give you props for what you're doing. Yes, because you are putting other big girls that is insecure that wear big old t-shirts and that don't want to show much skin or don't like their roles or don't like little stuff about themselves. Like, oh, she doing it. Why I can't do it? Yeah, girl, get out here and do it. I don't feel, I'm not that big. I don't think I'm that big. Y'all may feel like I'm that big, but yeah. So the journey is my weight loss journey. Um, I have multiple stuff in stores for that. I have started multiple things. I have done multiple things with my journey. I never recorded, but now I am going to record it because I have seen a major change with the diets I have done. <clears throat> and why not give support or show what I have done for other people so that they can try. So, yes, that is what my journey is about. I just haven't started it yet, y'all. I be so busy. I have a lot on my plate at this moment in time. That's why, kind of why I don't post as often. Because I'm, all, <clears throat> I'm always um doing something. And then I kind of be editing on my phone. I kind of need to do better with my editing. But yeah, that is basically what my YouTube uh, is about. Me being a plus size, plus size girl, my day to day life and my plus size life. Me going on journeys, me taking trips. Like, yes, I'm young. I still got a life ahead of me. I got so much stuff that I can be doing right now. And guess what? I want to do YouTube. I want to drive trips to y'all. I've seen so many, I have looked into so many, um, truck driving things, but I just haven't did it. I don't know why. I know why. I just ain't did it. But, yeah, I'm kind of nervous. I ain't nervous. I be driving with somebody, so... It ain't that bad. Hopefully, it's a lady. I'm gonna drive with no type of man. On a long, cold water man. Yeah, no. <sighs> <coughs> okay. I said I didn't start my journey, but 
I have been doing a lot of little stuff, little workouts. Um, well, I haven't been doing workouts, but since I got Peanut, I, me and Peanut go on walks. Um, we take a, a mid, her early day morning walk, and then on my lunch, I normally take him outside for a good 10 minutes, and we walk around. And then at night time, when I get off, well, I get off at 7. But at night, once I get off, I take him outside again, and we go walk. So I do have, I have been doing that. I've been trying to stay away from my, um, my crack, which is Pepsi. Um... <clears throat> But y'all, yeah, I feel like pills to get me through the day. Y'all know how y'all have, like, y'all have those, um, like, people drink coffee. Like, coffee getting them through the day. Um, <clears throat> however, um, they, everybody gotta have a, a Pepsi. Or a Pepsi is what keep you going type shit. Y'all, that's me. I like Pepsi's. I need a Pepsi. And that's something that I need to stay away from is sodas. Most definitely. What well, else? Most definitely dark sodas, which is Pepsi's. Because I love me some Pepsi's. And I think it's just a country thing. But baby, down here. In the from you pulling up at your grandma house, your grandma got pencils in, in, in her fridge, right? Up. And when y'all eat y'all meal, y'all playing dinner, you drinking your Pepsi, y'all drinking your little pop, little soda soda. <coughs> no kidding, <coughs> that's not still went down the wrong pipe, but yeah. And I'm funny, y'all. I feel like I'm real funny. Everybody be telling me I'm funny. I feel like I'm funny. I should make myself YouTube because I'm so fucking funny. And that's why I do it. I like it. <coughs> I like it. So, I'm going to eat for y'all. And I like to cook. So I most definitely cook for y'all. Just like that. And it's up out of the <coughs> clean. <coughs> y'all want to do a, a um a good crap for y'all, like to show y'all my meat with. Yeah, no, I forgot. So look at that. So beautiful. But yeah, y'all, we're going to end the video here with me eating my last shrimp. Let's do a, um, I didn't do my thumbnail, so let me do a thumbnail real quick. But yeah. Thank you for watching Static TV. And y'all go like, subscribe. Y'all go follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Facebook, y'all, I ain't really been into, um, what is called, TikTok, but yeah, but y'all can follow me everywhere else, I'm still gonna drop my TikTok, um, excuse me, I really don't be on TikTok like that, I watch the videos, I don't post on TikTok, but y'all can always go follow me on TikTok, if y'all want me to post videos on TikTok, I do little clips on TikTok, like how they do the little food thing. I learned how to do all that so that I can make TikTok videos for y'all. And I can do little quick meals for y'all. But yeah. Thank you for tuning in.